All right, here it is guys. Finally got my corner hutch. Can you believe it? Also, can you believe this wallpaper? <laughs> uh, so that is step one, remove the wallpaper. Actually, step one, look how dirty it is. I don't know if you can tell, but that crap is real dirty. It needs a good scrub down. So that is what I'm gonna do first. Time to scrub it down. Okay, I took my time, probably took me 20 minutes or so to really wipe everything down. Look at how blue this is. You can definitely tell that someone made this. Look, like it used to be blue, they painted it. It was definitely well loved. Uh, there's one thing though, I opened the cabinets and even after Alex picked it up, he said, it smells like old people. I said, did the wallpaper not give it away for you? Um, but I don't know, as I'm cleaning, I'm like opening and it's really airing out and I don't know, there's like something comforting about that smell, you know? My granddad, my opa, he passed away not too long ago and I'm cleaning this and it just reminds me of him. I don't know, something about like the mothball, cedar, peppermint scent. I, you guys know what I'm talking about. That smell, that scent that is seemingly in, you know, older people's homes. I don't know, anyway, I'm, I'm cleaning it and I'm like, hmm, I don't know, I kind of like this, but I might shove some essential oils on some paper towels or something and throw it in there. Maybe get the smell out. But for now, I'm going to grab this. I bought it at Lowe's for like six bucks. And apparently it's supposed to remove wallpaper. So I'm just gonna spray it all over that sponge and then douse the wallpaper in it and cross my fingers. I think I'm supposed to wait like 15 minutes. Actually, I need a putty brush. Don't forget gloves. I'm gonna go find a putty brush and try to scrape the wallpaper first, and then we'll use that crap. Okay, I found something. <laughs> this looks dangerous, uh, but we're gonna cross our fingers and hope it helps with the wallpaper. Oh my word, guys. First of all, excuse my face. It is early in the morning. I have to show you what happened. Okay, it's so hot, I'm already sweating. Can you even see? I sprayed this little bit with that wallpaper remover, and look how easily it's coming off. Oh, magic, magic. The shadows are so bad. <gasps> oh, is it gonna be this easy for all of it? Oh my God! What are you screaming? Oh, he's like, duck, duck, duck. There's a duck right there. <laughs> is that a duck? Yeah. Yeah. This is insane. I thought it would be so much harder than this. Maybe it's super old. Oh! The angels are singing. They know how badly I want to get this DIY done. <laughs> all right, so that's where the magic ends. That's all right. Oh my gosh, should I peel this off? I probably, huh? That's just paint. Okay, so I'm peeling some more off. The lighting is crazy. I think this was the wallpaper that was on before. Look how beautiful that was. Oh my gosh, and just to update you, I went through with a sponge and just went over all of the wallpaper and I'm just letting it sit for a few minutes and then I'm just peeling it off. It seems to be coming off pretty easily. Okay, so work in progress. I can tell you I was not expecting to have to peel off two layers of wallpaper, but it's gonna be worth it, I hope. Okay, another update. I went through and saturated all the paper again and it's coming off. Let me see if you could see, you see this. It's coming off so much smoother. sheet all at once can you believe that but now I have another layer of wallpaper why did they do that why did they do that to me 
All right, I'm hoping this one is satisfying. You wanna have, oh, gentle, gentle. Oh, good, helping. Oh, yay, no blue under this one. Ah! Look at that. Just look at it. Oh, my word. That stuff is magic. All right, let's do the other side. All right, we have to find a little vulnerable spot. See that? All right. Feel it. Oh, oh, broke already. Hold on, we're gonna get it. Wentworth, wanna help again? Okay, yeah. come on, come here, help me pull it. Oh, yes. Oh, why can't it all come off like this? Amazing, fantastic. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. I hate blue, that blue. I wonder if it's paint. I don't think it is because there's like lines. Do you see the lines in it? Oh, it's definitely not paint, but it's real annoying. And what is that, water damage? Why? Why? Okay, so I wanted to give you a little progress report shot. Oh, it's already looking so much nicer! I can't wait, I can't wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ding. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just peeled off the blue wallpaper as delicately as I could so we could take a peek at the first layer. That is so, they should have left it. I love it. I know that's like old granny-ish, like second world war style, <laughs> but there's something about it that I, I'm just drawn to. I Maybe I should just leave a piece in there. You know what I mean? Just like cut around that dog or something. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. Anyway, I'm making progress slowly uh, but surely. Let's just have another peek before it's destroyed, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, still making progress slowly, but I can't even, I need to show you this. There's a fourth layer. Can you see? It's yellow. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. But um, almost completely done with the blue. <sighs> making my way. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Wentworth! Or we could have sang, could have sang, making my way through the darkness. You want a golf ball? That's all he wants right now. All right, I found another layer of the fourth coat, which is really the first, am I right? I want to see what this guy looks like. I don't think we'll be able to unveil him. We can try though. Mm. Uh. Uh. All right, that's all I've got. Oh, look, over here you can kind of see too. Come on, what's under here? Okay, progress. I got all the blue out. I can't get all the wallpaper out, but I think I showed you guys already the fourth layer. Whoever owned this before was a serious DIYer for sure. Um, but aren't you supposed to remove wallpaper before you add another layer or am I totally off base? I don't know. Anyway, that was a pain in my rear end. So let's get to painting. I have some chalk paint. I'm going to go grab it. Okay, here's the chalk paint that I found. I got it at Joanne Fabrics. It was like, I think $14 for the 16 ounce or $8 for the eight ounce. Uh, so I got the bigger guy, just in case. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I did use a 40% off coupon, so I saved a little bit of money. All right, I'm just gonna pop this guy open and grab a brush and get to town. Get to town, get to working, go to town, whatever. Okay, I gotta tell you, I've heard a lot of good things about chalkboard paint, which is why I'm using it. Apparently, you can get it on clothes, you don't have to sand before you paint. It's like kind of mess proof, but I've only done this much and my hand already hurts. <laughs> this stuff is so thick and I know it just feels super weird, but 
whatever at least I don't have to sand the whole thing I did sand certain spots so you know the blue that I couldn't get off it hopefully will blend in nicely but good lord this is gonna take me hopefully not that long I can already see the bubbles from where you know what I mean from where the two layers of wallpaper that I didn't take off is. Whatever. Oh my gosh, no lie. I'm barely even a hair way through. I did the top and just this section. My hand is already cramping. I do have weak fingers, but come on, this is sad. Gotta push through though. I don't know if I can. <laughs> P.S. That is the wallpaper mess that I have to tidy up. Yay. Okay, another update for you. It's been hours and hours. I don't have a watch on. I don't know what time it is. But the paint says to let dry at least two hours between each coat. But my friend, my interior decorator, designer, friend, Kelly, neighbor, whatever, all of the above. She says 30 minutes in between each coat is fine, but I just happened to I had to leave and go somewhere so anyway I'm gonna put a second coat on here but let me show you how it looks so far I also didn't take the doors off because when we're well now the Sun I should turn it for you guys hold on okay is that a little better um, I was gonna take the doors off but Wentworth's here and I I don't have painters tape I'm a mess guys good thing this thing is supposed to look vintage because it it is it's looking rough um, however that is right now what it's looking like i don't have enough paint to paint inside there just yet so i'll have to do that at another time uh but that's okay it's gonna be close no big deal no big deal i am thankful that i got the bigger can the 16 ounce uh jar of paint because i am for sure going to need it all and i might need some more all right we're gonna get going on another round and i do have different hardware for this so i'm gonna take these off um and then obviously touch up what i missed and then put the good hardware on. All right, I had to make a trip to Joann's. I ran out of paint. Lucky for me, um, it was a day where they had two 50% off coupons, so I also got a brush, and this is for chalk, it's a chalk brush. So hopefully it will make my paint last a little longer and it will make the strokes look a little nicer. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. Um, I just wanna get this done and in my house like a week ago. So let's finish this project. We have a long way to go though. I will say that. <laughs> All right. Some of the uh, hardware is completely covered by paint, not just by me, but by the previous owners. And it's stripped. So I needed Muscles McGee to help me. I took the, I took the door off though. I did something. All right, here we go. Let's see. A Success. Cool. Only um, seven more. Oh. <laughs> it's really late at night, but oh god, garage mess. Can you even see the light over here? This is the progress. Uh, not too much to see, but I put on a second, third coat. We got all the hardware off. Amen, amen. Some of it was challenging because it's like 90 year old hardware and it was like um, stripped and stuck to it. And anyway, Alex had to take a piece over to his grandfather, so he had like a special tool to do it in. Um, but now we are going to, all right, so what we're going to do now is throw this really expensive teeny tiny jar of polyurethane on it. It's fast drying, but it still says let dry for three hours. So how fast can it really be? Um, I'm going to, that's why I'm doing it tonight because I do not want to wait three hours tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I think this is the door that I have to put a second coat on and then shove this stuff on the whole piece. This is my effect, me trying to open my eyes so the viewers think that I'm opening my eyes. What? What are we doing? It's uh, midnight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you just said. None of it. I don't understand it. I'm ready for bed. Me too, but we have to get this done. Why? What is the deadline? Before bed <laughs> is the deadline. I don't, it was not fun painting with a baby running around. It looks good in the dark. 
Right? Don't you agree? Yeah, it looks great. All right, guys, here we are, day two. The paint has dried. It looks good from far away. This is the last cabinet that I have to put the hinges on. And we had quite a dilemma with the hinges, can I tell you? So initially I bought flat hinges. I didn't know there was a difference. Cause clearly I am not a DIY girl. Um, so flat hinges obviously go against a flat cabinet, but these have a little lip. So I needed these hinges. I'll link them below if, you know, when it's done you see it and you're like, ooh, I want those hinges. Um, so, that's, this is what I got. Anyway, I went to Lowe's this morning when I realized, oh crap, I don't have what I need. Am I doing this right? No, right? Yeah, wait, what? I can't do that. Okay, so um, I went to Lowe's this morning when I realized, oh, I have, I'm looking for the screws, they're in my hand. When I realized I didn't have the right hinges, I went to Lowe's and they, their options, aren't very good uh, for hinges anyway, for the ones I was looking for, the, this style. And so I went online, Amazon had them, but I couldn't get them fast enough. Like I wanted the project done today and I didn't have anything else to buy on Amazon. So one day shipping was out. And anyway, so I went online, I saw them at Home Depot. So I drove over to Home Depot and wouldn't you know it, my location didn't have any. So I looked at other locations that did have them. And the closest one was 30 minutes away, a little more than 30 minutes away. So I came home and sent Alex on a wild goose chase for these hinges and he uh, got them clearly because I have them in my hands right now. So I am thankful. So that's not the only dilemma we've had. Apparently Alex's drill where is it? Apparently it's like dead. It doesn't hold a charge. And so we found another drill, this guy, which like can plug into the wall. Oh my gosh, almost lost an eyeball. What? That thing is so crazy. Apparently it's for like the good stuff, like like heavy duty projects, not like kind of stuff, you know? So um, he tried one up there and kind of like nicked the wood. And I was like, whatever, we'll just use our, you know, what is this, elbow grease to get these in. And when you know it, he is he went to pick up the girls from school. He took Wentworth, so I'd be able to knock this out. So hopefully I get it done before they get home and then they can see the final look. But I will tell you, I'll show you in a second what it looks like all together. But I will tell you, um, it is taken quite some time. So I have to take the little, what is this, a screw? And I have to um, put like guy holes, you know? Always fun. All right, the big reveal. I'm finally finished. Well, okay, when I say that, I mean, there's a little bit of tweaking that I need to do. I need to buy some wood filler, but we'll get to that later. I'm just excited to get this in my dining room and up. Um, it looks good from far away. Two things I wanna say, it looks good from far away, up close. A little bit of a mess. What do we call that? A mirage, if you will. Clueless reference, anyone, anyone? Um, so I'll show you it from far away, but just know, up close, not my best work. Not my worst, not my best. <laughs> so there it is, oh my gosh. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Thoughts? I love it. <gasps> Here comes Alex, let's see what they think about it. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love it, I think it looks amazing. Hey, Avelina. This is the worst day of anyone's life. Well, that's usual. All right, Dan, what do you think Looks of great. my creation? Looks wonderful. And actually, you were talking to your grandparents and what they say about, well, they were asking, is it vintage? And vintage is what, like 100 years or something? Antique. Antique, oh, yeah. sorry. Um, and so they looked at the wood, like the bare wood up top, and they said something about the glass, you could tell. Uh, so what was their conclusion? Could be. It's just like one of those antique road shows. It could be this. Could be this. <laughs> I'm going to stay by the wallpaper, yes. I like the security feature where it's almost impossible to open them. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like so much paint on there that it gained like half an inch. <laughs> A sixteenth of an inch for real. 
Anyway, I'm happy about it. I think it looks great. It's halfway falling apart, but no one's gonna touch it. You know what I mean? Just for looks. Oh, I'm gonna set the table. Don't ask me. Okay, so there it is, all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching the process. I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe. Make sure because you're gonna wanna see what I do with this special piece that will hopefully be up tomorrow. Is that like a t to be continued? Kind of. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.